I've been working with WordPress to design and build websites for quite a while now, and in that time I've installed, used, and struggled with a lot of different plugins. Throughout that time, I've found a strong 12 that I use on almost every single website and that I absolutely love. These aren't the best ones per se, but are ones that I found to be easy to use, effective, and reliable. The first one is Akismet Anti-Spam. One of the downsides of WordPress in general is how pervasive and annoying spam comments on your posts and pages can be. Akismet is probably the number one most popular plugin to help you filter out spam messages. It continually checks every single comment, recognizes the fishy looking ones, and will filter them out for you. Not only does it save you time, but the plugin completely blocks the worst types of spams, which can save you disk space, speed up your site, and help protect it from malicious spammers. The next plugin is called 404 Page, your smart custom 404 error page. So the 404 page is a page people see when a link is broken. You've probably run into them a few times, even if you don't use the internet a whole lot. This plugin allows you to customize the 404 page on your site to look and feel however you like within the limits of your current theme. If you want to have a fun picture up or a contact form to help people find their way, it's entirely up to you. Yoast SEO. SEO tools are some of the most hotly debated tools in the WordPress world. I've heard people say that they live by Yoast and some people hate it. In my experience, it's always performed well for me. It should act as more of a guide for your SEO goals rather than the end all be all. SEO deals with a lot of suggestive concepts, such as how easy is this page to read, or how many times should I use my keyword on this page. These are not cut and dry black and white options. What Yoast does is gives you a visual aid to help improve your SEO. It will not shoot you up to page one on Google, but if you already have a general understanding of SEO, this plugin is a great way to focus your efforts on making improvements. The next one is MailChimp Forms by OptinCat. I'm not a fan of the way MailChimp has its embedded forms set up. You have to do a fair bit of digging into their site and know a little bit of code to customize your forms as you want them to appear on your site. And even still, they don't always look great. This plugin lets you build your own custom signup form, either for in-page or sidebar or pop-up forms, and then connects it to your MailChimp account. That way, those who sign up through the form are automatically added to your MailChimp workflow and appropriate list. The tool is very easy to integrate and design and offers some substantial free options before making you upgrade. Coming soon page and maintenance mo by Seedfrog. Have you ever wanted to make big changes to your site but didn't want people to see your site while it's under construction? You should be using a staging site for this, but if you can't, a coming soon or maintenance mode page is incredibly handy. You can add a few simple messages, your logo or an image, colors and fonts to match your brand, and you have a branded, mobile-friendly, beautiful coming soon page that will pop up whenever someone tries to visit any page of your site. If you're logged in, you'll see the site as it is so that you can keep working. As soon as you're ready to lift the curtain, just hit disable and your new site is live for all to see. Caldera Forms. Everyone needs a contact form on their site, sometimes even more than one. Sometimes you need something more complex than a simple contact us form. Maybe you need a form where people can submit attachments or enter very specific field types or select a date. Caldera Forms allows you to build custom forms, which forward the submissions directly to your email. A simple short code lets you drop the form into any page or post that you like. Next is Broken Link Checker, which I've talked about in a few videos before. If you're posting content on a regular basis, such as blog posts, and distributing it to your audience, you want that content to be as helpful and as up-to-date as possible. If you've mistyped a link by accident, or if a link that you've used is no longer active, you want to know right away. This plugin scans all the links on your entire site and will alert you to which ones are broken so that you can find them and fix them immediately. WP Accessibility We tend to forget that people with all sorts of disabilities use the web just as much as we do. However, they may interact with it a little bit differently. It can be tough to put yourself in the shoes of a blind user if you're not blind, but this plugin does a lot of that work for you. 
It will alert you to improvements that you can be making on your site, which will make it easier for disabled users to navigate each page. Things like the use of colors, use of headings, alt tags on images, etc. My hope is that one day this plugin won't exist, but will be a built-in feature of WordPress itself. Health check and troubleshooting. If you are DIYing your site, this plugin is a must have. It allows you to create an easy to read report of any part of your site, from inactive plugins to an out of date PHP version that may be causing impaired performance or security vulnerabilities. If you're focused on running a healthy WordPress site, but don't know what you don't know, this plugin can really help out a lot. It even has a handy tool where you can quickly disable plugins one by one to see if one of them is causing a conflict to your site. I used to have to do this individually where I would have to go into the dashboard, disable a plugin, go back to the site, and do that over and over until I found the problem. But health check and troubleshooting allows you to do that from the front end so that you don't have to go back and forth all the time. The next one is called pop-up zen. There is a big debate about whether or not to use pop-ups on your site. I personally am not a fan, but if they work for you, consider pop-up zen. It allows you to create a non-invasive pop-up with zero coding. It will ask your user first whether or not they'd like to interact or sign up at all. If they choose yes, it then offers them a form. Pop-up zen integrates perfectly with ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, and MailChimp. Finally, Smush. Large images are one of the most common culprits when it comes to having a site that loads slowly. We all want big, glorious, high definition images on our site, but they do come with a price. Schmush is great because it will compress the file size of your image without making them look blurry or pixelated. And once installed, it will smush all of your images as soon as you upload them, so you don't have to think about it. So there you have it, those are my favorite tried and tested plugins. If there are any plugins that you love that are not on this list, please leave them in the comments below and I will check them out. If you're looking for a plugin that accomplishes something not on this list, also let me know in the comments below and I will try to send you a recommendation.